Want to learn how to make $1,000 in net profits per day selling on Amazon? By the end of this video, you will walk away with some crazy strategies that will leave your competition scratching their heads. So be sure they stay tuned. For the best Amazon FBA advice, tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I drop brand new videos every single week. Now, one of our most successful students, Phil Rugari here, was able to scale his very first product to about $20,000 per month in the first two months selling on Amazon. So if you'd like to learn how to be part of that, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a very special announcement. Now I'm pretty sure you have seen a lot of videos on YouTube and Facebook and Facebook groups, people talking about the product research criteria, you know, which is maybe something like, uh, um, you know, finding products that sell 300 units a month with 100 reviews or less, maybe between a price of 18 to 35. Everyone is talking about that right now. I do also do kind of talk about this stuff in my product research criteria, but one thing that many people don't talk about or don't even really kind of try to, uh, uh, to even look into is simply changing those numbers a little bit. Now, you do need some tools like Helium 10 or whatnot to really go into finding these products, but instead of putting the numbers that everyone else is looking at, why not changing your numbers? Now, you may think, what exactly does that mean? Well, there are two strategies with changing your numbers. Number one is looking at the same thing that everyone is looking at, but instead of putting in the system, you know, uh, 300 reviews or uh, 300 sales and above or 100 reviews and below, try tweaking those numbers a little bit by putting, let's say, 98 reviews or 102 reviews. And then instead of a, a you know, uh, sales of 300 uh, sales per month or more, try something like 298, 307. These little different numbers will sometimes throw the system off a little bit where it'll start producing some new products for you that you have literally never seen before. I know I have used it in my system and my you know, uh, product research and my students have also done the same thing. And we have actually been able to find new products that are not, you know, that we did not see in the past. Now, the second thing is simply looking at a completely different, you know, uh, price bracket or completely different bracket altogether, which is and instead of looking for prices of, let's say, 18 and 35, what about drop that? You know, go to products that will sell between 12 to 15 dollars or even above that, right? So let's say products that will sell between 40 to 60 dollars. Now, just one thing that you do have to think about is for the products that do sell for, let's say, more expensive, like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars, your launch is going to be more expensive simply because these products are probably going to cost you more. But a couple of things happen is number one, you're looking outside of the bracket of everyone else. And number two, your profit margins are a lot higher so you can spend more on PPC and you can do a lot more. So the first thing is simply changing your numbers. Also last week's giveaway winner is Joshua Peters. Uh, so Joshua, be sure to reach out to us. Also, if you would like to be entered to win my free giveaway, uh, my free weekly giveaway step-by-step Amazon FBA guide, be sure to comment below BJKU to enter to win our giveaway for next week. Now, the second method is simply going to Alibaba to find your products. A lot of people like to go to Amazon to find their products or utilize, uh, you know, tools like General Scouts or Helium 10 and, you know, using their web app to really, in, you know, input the criteria that they want to look for, right? Or within the criteria that they want to find products within. But one thing that many people don't really do is go to Alibaba where you're gonna be finding your manufacturer's app and then simply allowing Alibaba to, to show you the different products that people are going there to really purchase. Now you may think, but doesn't that really make it competitive? It can, however, a lot of times Alibaba has this thing of hot uh, categories or hot items of the month or of the week or even of the day sometimes where they will give you some of their you know specific criteria that they personally like or the products that they want to push and I personally have found over 20% of my successful products by simply going to Alibaba first then finding a product there then simply seeing if it's a viable product on Amazon to be sold. Now the third and most you know or at least actually uh, spoken about method is simply outsourcing the product research altogether. You know I know in my business I have not done product research and I don't even know how long and so have my students you know they simply outsource the task. I mean, many times sellers will outsource, you know, um, um, finding a supplier. I will outsource creating a listing, will outsource pictures, will outsource various aspects and tasks of the actual business. But 
the one thing that many frown upon is simply outsourcing the main task, which is finding the product, you know? Many times, finding the product could be very overwhelming, it could be, you know, time consuming, and it could literally just, you know, sometimes be very discouraging, you know? So, outsourcing the actual product research is definitely something that I personally utilize in my business. Now, if you want to see my main method of outsourcing, um, you know, product research, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video as I'll be sharing with you guys one of my videos where I simply dive, you know, deep down into my method of outsourcing, how I do it, what are some websites that I outsource from, and simply give you everything that you need to know about outsourcing product research. Now, I really hope that the last few minutes that we've been together have really shed some light on your questions and have answered your questions. Also, if you want me to walk you through exactly how to sell on Amazon and walk you through the entire journey, I have made a couple spots available in my team's calendar where we will jump on a call with you, answer your questions, you know, come up with a game plan and show you really how it's done and see if working together is a good fit. So if you want to be considered, the first link in the description is to an application. Fill it out and let's jump on a call. Once again, guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon FBA seller. If you enjoyed this content, please give this video a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and share this video with some of your friends that might find this video valuable. Aside from that, thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.